We appreciate the American Legion, what they do to support our vets. Uh, we're doing some interviews now and then on Spanish Fork 17 with some of our veterans. And of course, as you know, if you know a veteran that's uh, from World War II, I think we can sit down now. Okay. We're starting to lose, well, starting to, we've almost lost a World War II vets. And so if you know any, show them some love. Yes. And we'll be Thank moving on to our Thank Vietnam veteran. vets and others, but appreciate the American Legion. And some of these fifth graders. Oh, that's a Liberty Bell. I didn't notice that. Go ahead. Yes, I'm sorry. It is. No, no, grade. no. You're fine. Some of these fifth graders that participated in the first ever Walk for Life event in May that the American Legion sponsored. This event allowed them an opportunity to hear from veterans serving in different wars throughout the past 80 years. It instilled patriotism and taught them that our freedoms come at a cost. That's good to have the fifth graders involved. I know on uh, Veterans Day they would try hard to go around, the American Legion and others would try to go around and uh, talk about what the veterans have done and what they, what they did in serving our country, getting the youth involved. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see, what do we have? Is this our mayor? It, it is. is the mayor. That's our mayor, Steve Lafson. And I imagine his wife, I'm just trying to make sure we don't have his, uh, <laughs> it's said that maybe Chad Argyle will be there, but th that's coming later. I think each one of them are coming independently. Okay. So the mayor and his wife coming into view. Steve Lafson, he we was a city councilman. Now he's a great mayor. That arm's gonna get tired. I don't think he minds. <laughs> You can watch him on uh, City Council. Uh, they do live City Council broadcasts on Spanish Fork 17. He's the one that'll referee those meetings. And we've got. This is Councilwoman oh, Stacy Beck. Right, that's Stacy Beck. One of my co-anchors. Oh, that's right. She's on. Uh, She's she on, on the studio view? chatter. Oh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, the view. Isn't that funny? <laughs> <laughs> She's on the view. Well, let's see if she'll wave to you then, Natasha. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, she better blow me a kiss. <laughs> we do love our Stacy. And then next, it looks like we have Mike Mendenhall. So again, these are our city councilmen, councilwomen, councilpersons. <laughs> yes. And by the way, I think it's great that Stacy's on the city council. She has a lot of business know-how too. So Mike Mendenhall, and he's uh, polling the, and that's his wife and children, by the way, and he's pulling the Spanish Fork Mustang League Dodgers. We'll try to keep up with the announcing here. We're just getting the hang of this. We don't want him to go out of view before we've talked about him. It said that they were the UBBA state champs. So good job, Dodgers. Very cool. Okay, so let's get ahead of the game here. So we see Councilman Keir Scobes coming now. And I think Keir Scobes has been on the council for quite a while. I don't know exactly what to guess on that, but uh, I'm going to say for more than eight years, he's one of our veteran city councilmen. I think you're correct. And he's also a veteran. Indeed he is, and a uh, school teacher. That's right. right. Yeah, school teacher. and I know that he does intel work. Uh, he'll be one of the guys that spots where the problems are in the world and says, yeah, we better go take action. Mm -hmm. Troops kind of get sent to places where Keir Scobes has pointed out. That's my understanding. Yeah, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's waving at <laughs> me. Waving we, to we, the camera, we have, love it. We have nicknames, I call him the general. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Brandon and Gordon. Brandon, Mr. Well, I don't know if I can call him this, but I'll, I'll I call hear him it Mr. Now. Mr. Donuts. Oh, of course, he's, yeah, yeah, the Cowboy Donuts. Cowboy Donuts, That's he's, right. he's my new best friend too. I spend, <laughs> spend <laughs> far too much time. You know, that surprised me. So Cowboy I went in there, it's not too far from where I live. So I went in there and I kind of looked back at the chef and I go, I know that guy. Oh yes, he's, he's right in there. He's a cowboy. The doubt. Indeed he is. And he's done a lot of things on camera for us, so we appreciate him. And now coming into view is Chad Argyle. He's a little bit newer to the city council, I believe, mm -hmm. but uh, knows his way around Spanish Fork as, as well, or probably better than a lot of people. So Chad Argyle and his wife, Let's see if we can get a wave over here. All in these big trucks today. Appreciate that shot from uh, the bucket cam, I guess we'll call it, uh, up in a bucket truck. And I don't know how high, I'm gonna say about 30 feet up there. Yikes. I think that's McKinley on the camera up there. Maybe well, I got a half a second here. 
I'll just uh, give a shout out to our crew. So uh, we have on cameras Amber Peterson, McKinley Johnson, Spencer McKay, Benson McKay, and let's see, I got that right. And then as our director, it's Travis Bourne. Hard at work. Thanks, crew. Now there's a classic fire truck if there ever was one. It's an engine, a fire engine. I remember hearing something about it, Natasha, but I can't remember what it was. Uh, something like the 1920s, one of Spanish Fork's first fire engines. You can see it over the fire department. And then we have more fire engines and uh, emergency vehicles. If you don't know about it, folks, there's an opportunity every year, and I'm going to say it's right around the 1st of June, when you can try to compete with the fire engine sirens. No, that's what we're trying to do. <laughs> Where you can go to the fire station and see... Oh, that's a good idea. I was just told maybe I could turn down the fire engine sirens on the mic out there. So uh, you get to see what the fire engines look like. Uh, you can see what they wear, the firemen. Great fire department we have. I don't remember that Hummer vehicle that just passed us. Huh. But they keep their uh, emergency vehicles in a great state of readiness. Got Salem coming by as well. Yeah, they're promoting the Adopt a Duck. They call it the Spanish Fork Fire Department Annual Duck Race. These guys have had a busy summer. We really appreciate our fire department. Most of them are volunteer. I can't remember what the number is, but almost all of them are volunteer. There's like three that are full time. Wow. We really do appreciate them. And uh, they've been busy with, of course, fireworks and fires. And they, you know what, another thing I should do is just kind of an appreciation for them. Is they go out on so many calls and a lot of them are not important calls. And they don't know that till they get there. Someone's fire detectors just malfunctioned, but they still got up whatever time of day or night and they went to the house to find out what's going on. And I honestly have no idea if anyone at home can actually hear us. <laughs> all kinds of. And of course, our. Yeah, go ahead. Oh no, just all kinds of uh, emergency. Right. Yeah, we had uh, an ambulance go by too, and we have a lot of uh, EMTs, a lot of emergency responders. Mm -hmm. They're always training. This is the Utah County Fire Department. That's another thing is you'll hear that a lot of agency assists go on. Spanish Fork doesn't just serve Spanish Fork. They'll go out and help someone in, you know, Lakeshore. Utah County will say we need somebody up uh, Provo Canyon. So they respond all over the place. <laughs> and these guys have got squirt guns yes, and things. They've got the hose spraying <laughs> people off. Hopefully yeah. we're safe. Yeah, we haven't always bid. But I, uh, I try to wave <laughs> them off so they won't shoot the cameras. Yes, not the cameras. No, no, no. When I was a kid, I just loved these big trucks. I had to have uh, Tonka truck uh, fire engines and things like that. You can see the kids does it, here. Does just it change, them. really? I think <laughs> you probably true. still do. Uh, that's probably true. All right. Don't tell anyone, but I still break out my Tonka truck. Grand Marshal right here. Leonard and Loa Ellis, both are lifelong residents of Spanish Fork. They met while they were going to Spanish Fork High School. They've worked, volunteered, and raised their family in Spanish Fork. They've served two missions for their church, one in Tokyo and one in London. They've been to very many beautiful places, but think that their view right here in Spanish Fork and the wonderful mountains is their very favorite place to be. Good for them. And we even got away from, now this says Mayor's, oh, I guess we've got the Spirit Award, which we missed. Maybe we can still try to get a camera on uh, the Mark McKell uh, truck, but the one that just is going past us now is uh, the Mark McKell with his Pioneer Spirit Award. 
He's 98. Uh, well, he actually, I think he's 99, isn't he? He's turning 99. 99. Yep. That's so awesome. He is awesome. Almost 99. <laughs> okay, now, whatever the mayor's choice is. I'm oh, not sure what that meant. <laughs> the mayor's choice award. The lovely ladies oh, of okay. Spanish Fort. Miss Spanish Fort, Dejana Talbot, the daughter of Vernon and Rachelene Talbot. First attendant, Jill McConnell, daughter of Carrie and Andrea McConnell, and second attendant, Marley Tanner, daughter of Steve and Lorianne Tanner. I feel like a proud mom. This is my well, bragging. This is my bragging moment. Hello, lovely Now, what's lovely your association ladies? with the Miss Spanish Fork pageant? I am the director this year. Oh, I guessed. Uh, I guess that was the right opportunity to have you say something yes, about it. I didn't know that. Yes, indeed, it was. Okay, we've got the Girl Scouts of Utah. Uh, this says the Children Parade winners. So I guess they won the Children's Parade. They're marching now because uh, they're the winners, and they're from the Nebo Shadows District. The girls are participating from Spanish Fork, Springville, Mapleton, and Payson. And even two girls from Texas. Way so we to go, them. girls. I like the Samoas and the Thin Mints, if it matters. <laughs> exactly. If it matters. That's right. I, got, I forgot about that. My <laughs> wife loves the Girl Scouts Thin Mints. Got my buddy Russell Durchy coming over here. He says he'd come in and say a few words. Is that right, Russell? Come in and say a few words. Entry number nine is Central Bank. At their prime for over a century, Central Bank has been a part of Utah Valley's growth and development through the years. That's a beautiful little float. That's a giraffe. Yes, it is. Central Bank is ready to help you on your voyage to success. Opportunity Bank's here. Some employees and families there. Well, that's a fun VW there. So is that the, it says Provo Beach. Provo Beach okay. Resort. It says it's located at the shops at Riverwoods in Provo, and it's yes. the Utah Premier Family Fun Center. I've been there. Yes, go ride the, the wave. Have you ever done that at yeah, Provo Beach Yeah, I guess Resort? here they call it the Flow Rider. I didn't know that's what <laughs> it was called. The Flow Rider is an indoor wave machine. The Little Mermaid. Yeah, we encourage you to go see the Little Mermaid, Spanish Forks Community uh, Youth Theater. You've got like about four more opportunities. Triton, King Triton. <laughs> Oh, that was a great shot. There. Got a good <laughs> shot of him there. That was great. Some great music. A timeless classic. So is this some more of the youth? The oh, this is yes, the rest of the cast. This is the whole cast. And look yes. at that float. They Ursula. Actually, they brought a set piece with them, it looks Ariel. like. Ariel. I love the song, Under the Sea. That's uh -huh. one of my favorite <laughs> songs. You probably like Kiss the Girl. I like that one. I do. <laughs> uh, let's see. Part of your world. Yeah, that's a, oh, that's a common one. They, a lot of girls like to sing that song. Well, they sure look good in their Anyways. outfits there. Mm -hmm. Okay, what, who is this? Miss Inspiration. All right. Let's see. Do you want to do this one for we me? We can do this one, yes. Uh, Spanish Fort Zone, Tiare Cowan and her attendants. Every March, Turn Community Service sponsors the Miss Inspiration pageant. The Miss Inspiration pageant honors and celebrates the lives of women with disabilities who inspire others while facing significant oh. life challenges. Well, that's great. That's super cool. I'd like to give you the royalty because you obviously <laughs> know royalty. How about the next one, too? Okay, <laughs> let's see. Who is, who's this Provo one? Oh, Provo City. City. Yes. Okay. And let's see. On the float is a depiction of the Statue of Liberty. Liberty and responsibility equals freedom. The Provo City royalty is Lakin Hemsley. She's a senior majoring in dental hygiene. Her first attendant is Cassifee Waston. She is a freshman at UVU majoring in dance. And her second attendant is Arlene Pasquale. She is a sophomore at UVU majoring in social work. That's great. I know a few of those girls. And now we have uh, representation from Mike McKell. We have Francis Gibbon, a state representative, joining Mike McKell, and Senator Deidre Henderson. And they're both representing Spanish Fork in the Utah House of Representatives. Mike has served in the legislature for the past five years. Mike is a conservative Republican who has fought on Capitol Hill to effectively represent Spanish Fork, Salem, Woodland Hills, Lakeshore, and Benjamin. He's a sixth generation McKell from Spanish Fork and is proud to call Spanish Fork home. So we welcome Deidre Henderson and Mike McKell. And there he oh, is. It yep. looks like he's got candies thrown yes. out. That's a smart political move. <laughs> he's on he's on foot today. Yeah. Getting his exercise, so he's getting all of his steps in. He's passing out the candy. He's got a few other representatives with him. 
Yes, I think he's, he's still got a good throw on all of his bases. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. Who's in this Ram truck coming up So here? I believe this is a lot of rodeo representation oh, okay. coming up on us because we have the Fiesta Days Rodeo Royalty. I think that's going to be amongst them, but we have some Dodge Ram Rodeo Series trucks. Yes, we do. You see inside that arena Appreciate every their night. sponsorship. Indeed. And then there's the uh, flags that they take around with various sponsors. I get really excited inside that arena when they, <laughs> you know, when they use their big, bold rodeo voices, yes. PRCA rodeo action. Just yes. something about that. Doug Smith, uh, a sponsor as well. And I guess it's the rodeo royalty that actually take those flags around, don't they? Hey, we just got a Tootsie Roll. I think it's I part knew there of was the a perk <laughs> to being an announcer. <laughs> part of the Rodeo Royalty and then some of those beautiful flag girls. But let's talk about the Rodeo Royalty. Okay. The queen this year is Autumn Patterson. She's a current student at Westminster College. Her first attendant is Janie Christiansen, has her advanced EMY certification. And the second attendant is Nicole Ivey, and she has her EMT certification. Congratulations, ladies. Very skilled, educated, pretty ladies. And then awesome. maybe the not so pretty Spanish Fork Riding <laughs> Club falling behind. These guys look more like cowboys. We appreciate them. You know, this rodeo has a long tradition in the Spanish Fork Riding Club. There's our uh, city manager, Seth Perrins. I didn't get a chance to see him before he got off camera. Steve Money. Um, but anyway, they have a long tradition. They were the ones that got the rodeo going. They say it started in a barber shop here in town, and Spanish Fork Riding Club got started. They said, let's have a rodeo, and now we're one of the premier rodeos in the, we well, in the, in the, in the yes, world. Yes, in the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they do put in a lot of hard work. I guess I'll uh, read their presidency really quickly. So the president of the Spanish Fork Riding Club is James Gull. Vice president is Chris Swenson. Treasurer is Sean Yowd, and the club generously supports uh, student college scholarships. So go ahead and work with these guys, and you'll be well served. Okay, we'll give you another turn here. Okay, this is the Ute Stampede Royalty from my hometown. Oh, that's from right. Nephi. Nephi. The queen this year is Josie 80. Her first attendant is Heidi Colburn, and the second attendant is Tyler Wall. I don't think I should do this and put you on the spot. Oh, you're fine. How familiar are you with the Ute Stampede Royalty? As in, was that something you were involved with back in the day? I was. I was actually a part of the Ute Stampede Royalty. <laughs> in Good. fact, if you go look at Studio Chatter's page, uh -huh. Pete took a great, I don't know. A <laughs> yeah. Well, he, he posted a picture okay. in, in Natasha's big hair days. Ah, uh, big hair. <laughs> well, now I have to see that. Yes. Awesome. I took a good guess. So we're seeing uh, a good display here of ropesmanship. Look at that little guy. He, he kept it going for a little while. That was impressive. He's, one, he's part of the uh, specialty act at the rodeo. Oh, okay. I believe okay. his dad is the, ro uh, the rodeo clown. Uh-huh. He, he's he the specialty actor. Uh -huh. Oh, that's fun. So no wonder he's, he's really yep. good. Yeah. 